Hi guys, Russ here from Wilson Land Cattle Company. Today we're going to try and get us a Purple Martin house built. We'll see how we can do here. Um, we want to make those the nest compartments 7 inches wide and 10 inches deep. Then we'll put a front on it with a has a funky doorway in it so i'll show you that but uh let's go ahead and get started on this hopefully we can, i'm tr gonna try and get it done in one day we'll we'll see what happens this here's the basic floor plans of the purple martin house i'm gonna make it four houses wide and then we'll have one on one side and or one set of apartments on one side and then one set of apartments on the other side I'm going to make the nest 7 inches wide and then 10 inches deep. I wanted to show you a little trip tip here for cutting. Or, um, I ripped a bunch of boards here, I guess 5 boards 6 inches wide because we're going to make the houses 6 inches tall. The little tip I have here for you is this here's my cutoff saw or my miter saw. And it just normally comes with a just the aluminum fence on it. Well, I bolted a piece of three quarter inch plywood on that, and then extended it. That way, whenever I'm cutting boards, and I got to cut, I need 24 pieces for in that for our our 24 six by 10 inch pieces for the compartments in the house and what i do is i just set a piece of block on there and it's that's 10 inches from here to here and i don't have to measure every piece of wood and then whenever we're cutting every piece of wood is going to be the exact same size you know even if you're off you know a 16th of an inch or something it can mess with your plans so um it's just a little tip for you i'm going to go ahead and cut 20 24 pieces Okay, I got the divider, dividers for the compartments cut, and I got the centers for the compartments cut. Now I need to figure out how these boards go on here. Now I did some research. This is my per first purple, purple Martin house I ever built, and I did some research. The minimum cavity size that you want is uh, 6 by 6 by 6. Ideal is 7 inches wide, 6 inches high, and 12 inches deep, but I'm only going to do mine 10 inches deep. And I've decided that we're going to go 4 layers high. It doesn't take much, much longer to make an extra tier whenever building this thing so i'm gonna go ahead and go big or go home i'm using a pen because i can't find my carpenter's pencils i'm gonna go ahead and glue and staple it together just hit it with nails and then we'll, I'm going to glue and nail it as I go. And then we'll come back in and I'm going to put, I got to put a layer underneath and then a layer of wood on top. And then we'll put another layer of these guys on. We can go ahead and nail all the interior dividers together first. And then we'll put our wood on the bottom and we'll just build layers. And then whenever we put the sides on, that will tie everything together, I guess you could say. It's almost building like a chicken nest box. Okay, I'm gonna nail it together with crown nails. I'm gonna use inch and a half crown nails and then I'm also gonna glue the joints. I'm not gonna go crazy with the glue. We don't want a lot of extra glue in the, in the house itself.
double hit. One thing a lot of folks don't know, Purple Martins are actually 100% reliant on people. I'm having a really, I had a really hard time finding information on the ventilation for this thing. So we're just going to kind of make that up as we go along here. I haven't decided on how to mount this thing yet either. What kind of pole or whatnot. I got lots of steel here. So I'm going to put it on steel of some sorts. But I don't know if I want to have it so it slides up and down the pole or not. Okay, guys, we got her put together here pretty well as far as the nesting chambers go. Um, I'm getting set to put the sides on it. I'm going to put a peaked roof on it with a little bit of an overhang. It's going to kind of look similar to that. And then I'm going to have the doors where this whole front opens. I'm going to make it so this whole front will open up and um, you can get in there to clean out the nests then. I'm going to put tin on the roof, tin on the roof, tin on the sides. Now the front, I'm going to have to, it's going to have to be wood. So I put five half inch holes in the back part of the nest box on each layer, bottom to top, to try and get ventilation to come up through and then we'll put... Uh, uh, holes in the sides up in the peak for that ventilation to move through. The ventilation requirements for these bird houses or these uh, uh, purple martin col colonies is kind of vague. Um, it's hard to find good information on it so this is what I come up with. Hopefully it works. Okay, okay guys we got our Put together pretty well here. We put our layers together. This birdhouse is going to take, make, or this uh, purple martin colony will have 30, 32 uh, nest boxes. And I went ahead and put ends on it. Put the slope, this is a 15 degree slope, and then for the doors, for the fronts of the birdhouse, or colony, I guess they call it, um, we put porches on them, put privacy dividers, and then we're using the crescent. birdhouse opening it's just a piece of tin cut out and what that is is you take stay you take and make a th three inch circle and then measure down three six or an inch and three sixteenths and then draw a line across it now you want your you want the the opening to their nest cavity anywhere from an eighth to a quarter of an inch off of the porch and then that way that's supposed to make it starling proof keep the starlings out of it this here's the front we have the crescent cutouts for their entrances and then we have porches built on them the, they're a quarter of an inch off of the porch that keeps the starlings out supposedly and we're going to just mount hinges at the top of this and mount them here so we can get into the into the uh, purple martin house we're going to mount it about 14 feet off the ground i suppose i tin the roof and tin the sides turned out pretty nice i think the 
roof. I'm going to paint this white. That's what Purple Martins like. They enjoy, they like white for some reason. Hopefully we're not too late, but I think we're too late for Purple Martins this year, but we'll be up and ready to go for next year. Hopefully the sparrows and the starlings don't get us too bad. We have to keep cleaning this out to keep the sparrows out of it, keep the sparrow nests out of it until the Purple Martins come. Got it all painted up. Got the doors mounted with the hinges. Got perches on the top. It's the same on both sides are the same. So, and then we have our pole that we're going to put it on. It's a four by four I beam with pieces of angle with some holes in it. We're going to bolt that to the bottom of this uh, before we actually set it up. Because if we don't, I'm going to have a hard time getting it up in the air. So. This thing probably weighs 100, 150 pounds, somewhere in that neighborhood. At least, at least 100, 150 pounds. I wanted to have it up secure. And what we're gonna do after we sand this thing up, we stand it up and get it leaning up against the fence post, we're gonna screw this piece here to the fence post. I'm gonna go ahead and get that done and yeah, we'll see you on the next video.